Hello, my name is Helen Venables. I'm Managing Director of House of Colour. We're often asked, how does the colour analysis process work? And so we're going to make some videos to show you. The first thing we need to understand is some of the theory behind the colour analysis process. This colour wheel represents all the colours in the universe and it's put together based on research that was done in the Bauhaus in the 1930s in Germany. They discovered that every colour apart from true primary red has either got more yellow pigment in it, and these are shown at the top of the wheel here, these are yellow based or warm colours, or it has more blue based pigment in it and we call those cool or blue based colours. And what I'm going to do with my client today is to discover using our precision dyed drapes whether she sits naturally in this top half of the wheel where the warm colours are situated or in the bottom half of the wheel where the cool ones are. What we're actually looking at is the colour of the fat cells under her skin and they will naturally be either warm or cool. So here we are, we've got Judy sitting in the chair here. She and I can both see ourselves in the mirror, we're in natural daylight, we've pulled back her hair off her face so that we've got plenty um, of space to work in and we've covered her clothes with this white cape so we've got no visual distractions. And I'm now going to use these precision dyed drapes to see whether the warm or the cool colours look better on her. So this is a cool, soft pink, Judy, and I'm going to compare that with a much warmer one, one that has a lot more yellow it. This is one look and this is the other and we can see that that cool drape is not nearly as flattering as this one. You come alive in that one there. Let's have a look now at a couple of greens. So here is again a cool blue based green and over the top I'm going to put a warmer yellow based green. Here you look fresh, alive, and here everything looks very dull. So we're seeing that the yellow base colours work much better on you. Okay, so we've used all these pairs of drapes, Judy. We've got the blue base ones on the bottom and the yellow base ones on the top, and we're going to go back down through these pairs and see what we see. So this is the yellow base drape. You look fresh and alive and young, and that one's very aging, the blue based one same pattern here. This yellow base drape is young looking, this blue base one gives you shadows and ages you. This one is the yellow base drape which is lovely. Here you look washed out and tired, it puts weight on. And here again we have a yellow base drape, you look delightful in that, very pretty, and that one is very boring and very tiring on you. So we have discovered that you are a yellow base person. How does that feel? Great. Good. So we've discovered that Judy naturally sits somewhere up here in the top half of the wheel and the warm based colours made her look much better than the cool ones. And the second part of the process now is to discover whether these rich, warm, earthy colours, which we call autumn, will make her look her very best, or whether she needs the light, bright, clear colours that we call spring to bring her to life. Okay, so we've discovered that you're a yellow base, Judy, and now we're looking between the rich, warm, earthy autumn drapes and the light, bright spring ones. This is autumn on the top, it's a bit heavy on you, mm. you come alive with the spring one. <laughs> Not so fond of that one. This is the moss green, it's a rich autumn colour. Mm. This is a light, bright spring colour. This chestnut's a little bit heavy, it's ageing on you, mm. whereas you look at home in the spring one. Two here. This is a, a muted, softened off red, and you come alive in the yeah. bright one. You're a spring. Mm. <laughs> okay, it's great.